was on a call the other day um, on a Linux pulse furnace and um, what I found wrong was the fan timer board which actually feeds voltage to the ignition module um, was defective so I wasn't getting any 24 volts to power up the ignition control um, thus the customer had no heat. Um, they were in no rush to, to get it done at that point because they did have four other furnaces. It's feeding a, a liquor store, so um, it hasn't been that cold here. You know, dipping down into the 30s, maybe 40s in the evening, but the other three furnaces, or yeah, three furnaces, four total, um, feeding the store were working just fine. Um, so I am on my way to Lennox now to pick up um, that fan timer board. I do have an ignition control on the truck just in case that is bad. Also, I don't know. Um, I wasn't getting power to it, so we'll see. Um, I think the air flapper material needs to be changed in that gasket also. So I'm going to see if Lennox has them. I do have some on the truck. I just don't know which size. I don't have a part number, unfortunately, on the local bag. Um, to see which one's which. So um, we'll see. I have a few different kinds. We'll see if I got the right one. And we will take it from there. Um, and, you know, we'll see what, what footage we can get from it, what we can do, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, I'll catch up with you later. My parts from Lennox, and I am on my way to go put them in. Um, I did have the correct gasket and air flapper material um, in my stock. I checked it against what they had, and so I did not have to purchase any of that stuff. Um, what I did find interesting was that it did not have the gasket um, for the air flapper uh, assembly to go to the bell housing. Uh, I would have to buy a tune-up kit, quote-unquote tune-up kit, um, which came with about everything that you could use Every part you could use for anything related to combustion. Um, however, it does give you everything for natural and LP. So half of the stuff you're not going to use. Um, in that kit is a purge blower, which um, the Pulse was notorious for them seizing. And needing a new one and then for a while you actually couldn't get one and they were telling you you needed to replace the furnace because of that um, but I guess a few people have gone through and uh, other manufacturers stepped up and started manufacturing for that so Lennox is now stocking in their tune-up kits everything that you need to basically rebuild things for combustion um, however I cannot see having to purchase a tune-up kit because I need a gasket. Considering that tune-up kit um, for me is about 370 bucks um, for a little pa paper gasket, which is next to nothing. Um, so I was not going to purchase the tune-up kit just to have it. Um, we do do some work on pulse furnaces. I, if I do need part I will pick one up however I'm just not doing it at the moment this furnace may be replaced in the next year or so so I'm not gonna have the customers sink the money into that um, so when I get there I will see if I can shoot some stuff you know replacing the fan timer and, you know the control board and the air flapper um, nothing too too terribly interesting or hard to do but uh, we'll see for anybody who hasn't seen how one of those comes apart or how it goes together we'll uh, see what we can do all right catch you then all right so I have the 
unit ready to fire um, and I'm changing the air flapper material now on a pulse this sits up in here and this comes out and that leaves you with your belt housing and that's where the air actually goes in it comes in through the purge blower and through here this purge blower is actually only on startup and shutdown it does power itself off while it is ignited um, so I'll show you changing the air flapper material and putting it back together and we'll be back in a second this is a tight spot to work in it's a liquor store so they have the boxes packed right in front I'll post a picture of one of the other units I had to deal with um, so in any case this actually comes apart Quick spin this. This piece comes off, and in here is this material. That is the air flapper. That should be changed every four years. I don't know when this was changed. Um, there's a little spacer built in in here. Some of them actually have a, a washer that needs to be very carefully kept because that actually keeps the spacing so the flapper can do its vibration back and forth. Um, over here we have, that's the old, that's with the new. This one, this gets crudded up. It doesn't allow it to vibrate it as much as it should let in the air the way it's supposed to for the pulse. So, in changing that, we put this back in here. You have to line up the holes. So this way, this actually has some studs on it. Let's see if we can clean that up just a little bit. What I'm doing is just cleaning up some of the the deposits on here again to make sure that that maintain that that gap on the, the material those deposits will stop it from opening and closing the way it should so that's what I'm just doing there we'll do it a little bit on that back side too I did a class with Lennox. They recommended doing it with um, something non-abrasive. Um, this way not to screw up any of the um, the surfaces. So you sandwich the two pieces back and forth back and front and they get snugged back up now the metals will bottom out on each other however there will be that gap because of that that little spacer that is built in um, and it allows a very small gap in here it allows everything to kind of vibrate so all right let's get that back in and after everything's back in that's what it looks like. You've got this massive door. I don't know if you can tell how thick that is. It's just ridiculous. And it's got this gasket on the backside, which if it is dried out, you do have to buy that 
tune-up kit, which is just crazy for me. All right, let's put this door back on, and then we can try to fire it back up. All right, so we got our blinking light. I don't know if you can hear it, but the purge blower is running. We'll see what we got for ignition. Trial for ignition, at least. Everything sounds pretty smooth. Retry. Now this this furnace hasn't run for a year. So apparently. So let's see what happens this time. put it back on my shelf and forgot to, you know, I guess I forgot to take it out of the truck, so it wound up back on the shelf. So thankfully I checked when I got to Lennox, so I did pick up one. Um, and I did not need to put in that fan timer um, because that one was still good. So now I kind of have an extra one of each, so I should be good in the future because um, I did pick up two ignition controls just so I had one for stock because that was more of a common issue than the fan timer. Um, so, that I have an extra fan timer, I have an extra ignition control, so I should be good for the next one. Uh, so, the tune-up kit that I was referencing earlier is a kit saw the little, I put a, a little black gasket on when I put the flapper material assembly back in and that gasket is not available on its own. The only way it's available is in that tune-up kit, which I think is a little crazy, um, but nevertheless, that is just the way it is. So thankfully, I have a packet of them from when we changed a, quite a few Lennox heat exchangers, the Pulse heat exchangers, um, back when they were doing a, a, a recall. So we had ordered a, a bunch of everything. So thankfully I still had some sitting in my truck. Um, so I didn't have to worry about getting that whole tune-up kit because the rest of the, that foam gasket on the, the um, air decoupler door was fine. Um, so, anyway, uh, that's that call. If you guys have any questions about a pulse, uh, feel free to shoot me a note. Um, other than that, comment, like, subscribe. I would appreciate it. And 
and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.